all right guys i'm back and i'm sweaty because i had some technical difficulties <laughs> y'all see those people be on there and be like my camera done died that's real i haven't even been filming an hour my camera was like bye so now i'm gonna powder my face in the area where i had the trouble Let's get some powder. This is not setting powder, this is just foundation powder. I'll go ahead and set my whole face afterwards. And this is from Kiss. And it is in the color Toffee. Okay. And so now I've gotten my nose together. Kinda. Let's go back in there on the nose. And then, and again, I don't do my nose because I said this like a thousand times. But new people watch new different videos so I'm gonna say it again and my my homies that watch all the time just bear with me for this y'all can say it with me <laughs> I do not contour my nose because I want to have a anglo-saxon nose I contour my nose because I want it to stand out and my face just like my chin okay I put a little there Put it here because I want my lips to stand out. Okay. So that's what I do. Speaking of stand out. Oh, let me put this because it fell. Uh, this is a little temperamental back here. Okay. I need to, um, and I'm sorry I'm out of frame. I'm going to get better. I may not get better with that. Be patient with me, please. Okay, so we got the contour, we got the bronzer, we need blush. So I need to get my blush. I use my Alomar blush. I have some other blushes, blushes, but maybe blue and pink. Pink would be probably nice, right? Let's try pink. Because I have a blush that I love so much. I got it a while ago. It's from um, Pretty Vulgar, and I think you can find it like... TJ Maxx or something like that. It is so pretty. Let me see what color this is. So I can tell you what color. Make them blush. See, isn't that pretty? Yeah, because pink and blue go together. Pink, blue, and gray go together. And again, this is for the gram. I'm not really going anywhere. Not until later today when I do my soccer mom duties and take my son to his swim lesson. So back to self-esteem. So I hope, I guess you got the gist of it. I'm not trying to bully anybody or make anybody feel bad if they don't have self-esteem. Um, you know, it is definitely a journey for me. And I'm gonna use the benefit <laughs> I don't even know what this is anymore, but y'all seen this before. I think it's Kapow, Kapow, Brow, something like that. Um, and then the stick and a five, precisely my brow, and a five. I like the other one too, but it's like you, you when you go in there and each of them are like $24, you gotta make a decision. Like This I got from the, the Kaboom, Kabow however you say goof proof or whatever it is this little contraption right here i ended up looking out on the boxy charm pop-up and i ended up getting this that and the poor professional primers they are really something that you can always stack up on but don't take it for granted like when they have it get it all right so you see that gave me some sort of a brow now i'm going to take the precise brow I'm going here and give myself some definition. I'm really into these thick, thick, bushy brows. And I think it's because if you don't have brows, you want brows. I take my brow all the way out to here. And I know every rule book probably tells you not to. And we'll be getting into that because I'm going to, for the hundredth time, start my makeup certification again. I'm currently in school for my bachelor's degree in strategic communication and minor in graphic arts. 
I'm struggling in school, but I still want to get it. I'm talking about self-esteem. I mean, I sh I'm struggling because life, you know, there's life and I don't have the time that I want to just be all in like I need to be. Um, especially when in graphic arts and you're learning different programs. Like now we're learning Adobe Creative Suite. And before this class, I went ahead and purchased like through um, Skill Shack. I think it is. I'll put the link down below. I purchased the Adobe Suite certification because I, for my self esteem, my self esteem is in my work. Um, I don't get, I'm not working full time right now. I'm looking for employment. But to be certified in several different areas, especially in the field that I work in, it's like nothing, nothing like it. So now I'm going in. Most of the time I won't do my brows on camera, but I just feel like having a sit, a chat, a sit and talk moment, chat with me. You know what I'm talking about. So now I'm gonna take my house laboratories um, and I'm going to draw me a line. Try to get me a little bit of a I would like to do a cat eye. Let's try it. Okay, so my for my cat eye, because I have hooded eyes, I have to kind of like angle it up. You have to angle it straight up and then just come down. And then I can go over this line right here if I want it to be seen. And that makes it almost like a meow brow, I call it. That's real, like a real cat. And I kind of got to hold my eye until it dries. And I can always like hold this, hold this part down and dry it. These are the pains of a person with hooded eyes. You gotta do like the most. Just so that, and I have to go back in with that blue. And so now, let's do this one. We'll go ahead and start this part first. So I just went straight, go straight up. Over. And even with that one, like, it didn't give me the point I wanted. My point is a little doofy on this side compared to this side. But from far away, you can't tell. I'll go in here and make this one a little bit thicker. I don't want to go up too high. But, I mean, from far away, you can't really... It's not that hard. If it's that hard, well, let me know. Because I can't see. Y'all know I'm still struggling, working on my contacts. I'm supposed to go to... Oh, I think I do have to go to the... I think I am supposed to go somewhere today. Oh, no, tomorrow. All right, guys, we're almost done. I know I'm long-winded. Where are we at right now? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put on some the tra Trastique. We got this in our boxy charm a million times. I do not use the eyelash curler, which no one does. I wish they would just come out with one without the eyelash curler. We keep telling them we love the mascara. The mascara is all that. But the curling thing that makes them so different from everybody else, not so much. All right, let me do the bottom. Hopefully I won't mess my eye up. Okay, another thing I need to do is I need to get a black pencil. 
I'm trying to find a creamy black pencil. I need to find a black pencil and I need to connect my bottom to that black line that I just did with. It just does something to my eye when it's all connected and there's not a gap right there. It makes it look more uniform. All right, now um, for my waterline, I'm thinking I really have been in love with this blue pen by, it would be nice if I knew who it was by. Oh, that, that black was by, that black was by Real Her. Got that in a, a boxy or, or Ipsy. And this is a Royal Blue by, this is probably by LA. Nope. Is it by Glide Gel Liner? I think this was LA Girl. Or NYX. One of those. Anyway, so it is called G Royal Blue. Okay? So if you see this design somewhere on the pencil, that's the one I got. All right. I just think the roll blue make it stand out. You know, I got like teal and turquoise. Yeah, I, I really like that. And I used to not type line. I think I told the story a hundred times. I used to not tight line because I was so scared. I was so scared to get this in my eye. I was like, oh my God, it's gonna hurt. And the first time it did, it burnt like crazy. And then I was like, okay, never doing that again. <laughs> and then I did it again and I got better. And now here we are, okay. Now we're gonna go ahead with our um, I Envy lash glue. I had to pull out another lash glue, a backup, cause this one is like on this last leg. And I gotta find a way to keep my eye closed. I'm gonna go get my fan. Yes, that hooded eye life. Cause when you start getting your eye you don't want to do it too much because you don't want it to all right get some um, hand sanitizer all right hold on let me get hand sanitizer my hands all right let's get some lashes we don't want to overdo the look my lashes are by lashy box so if you want to know today we'll be wearing gemini my lashy box. I want something that's like balloon, but not so balloon that it's gonna take over my look. So this is Gemini. I don't have a box. Okay. All right. There we go. And now, let's get this other one done. I'm gonna do the same with this. I'm gonna let the wind blow. Just a little bit. So I don't get it on my eye. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the other one on. Uh-oh. -uh. Everything be falling all over the place. And I go ahead and lay it down on my lid first. Number one, to make sure it's laid down in the right place. Number two, because it needs to be on your skin, not on your lash. 
And then I smush my lashes together. And there's my lashes, they're done. Now for my lips. Ugh. What to wear, what to wear, what to wear. Okay, I have these pencils from Bodyography. I think these came out of a box, a boxy or a Lux. I mean, a uh, Ipsy. And of course, I'm gonna go with something nude, not because I like nude lips, but because that is all the rage. These are a little tough. This one is giving me some color, but it's, it's, it's making me work for it. All right, and then I have this cute little holder. I'm obsessed with holders from, and I got all of my, well, not all of my lip gloss. Clarins, oh yeah, we had this velvet lip, lip protector. I think we got it out of one of the those. So let's try to use that. Let's try to put that on right. And then we'll be done. Be final look time. Okay. Yeah, I knew this was a new. You see, I just squeezed out a little bit. This is so pretty. Hmm. Okay, oh, highlighter. Where are we going without the highlighter, y'all? So it's the Clarins Lick Perfector. And what color is this? This is in 01. Uh, and then, let's, yeah, I'm not gonna put on a gloss. Let's put on a, um, Highlighter now. I got a highlighter blush combo from Pure out of the blue, be my light because I'm really like you see, I'm starting to really like Pure. But when I got it, it was destroyed. You hear me? Destroyed. So I'm gonna order it again if I see it. I'm almost afraid to open it up for y'all. Like. When I say destroy, guys, you see that? Destroy. So, I seen, I think, Colorful Camille, when she had hers, she just to mix it all together. And so, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just taking pat some. And I'm just going to put it on my, because it's so pretty. Look at that. It is so pretty. All right, let me try this side a little bit. I like to put it like right here. I can't put it directly under my eye or anything because it'll make my under eye look real black. It's glittery, but not so glittery that it's like, it's just so pretty. It's not so glittery that you can't function, like. All right. So there we go. That's my boxy time face. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself together and I'll give you guys final thoughts. All right, guys, we're done. And so hopefully this little experiment that I tried to try to film on two cameras works out for me. If not, I'll just know which one feels better. Um, as far as the items that I received from my boxing pop-up, um, I'm just saying, do I need to say any more? Y'all saw how this performed. Y'all saw how this worked. Y'all saw the flashes. 
Bitch, y'all, Father I work. If you need this in your life, grab it, okay? You couldn't get it at a better price than you did at the box. I don't even know how much it costs for me at the box. Is my thing Nope. I'll put it down below how much it costs. And I will see if um, Boxy is pop up to open. It's probably not because Lux is about to start. But I'm sure they'll have some type of another um, sale during that time for Lux. Um, so I'll go check and see if it's if something is open. If you're not a Boxy Charm subscriber and you love makeup and you love skincare, then what are you doing? It's worth the money. It's worth the money. Now there are some times where there's a lot more skincare than it is um, makeup, and it bothers me sometimes because I really don't need any more skincare at this time in my life. I just turned 43. <laughs> So, I mean, I'm doing pretty good in the skincare, uh, in the skincare world. I have a lot of backup upon backups because of Boxy and Ipsy. Um, I no longer do Allure because of that. I no longer do, um, she, no, she box and try box. They do have a makeup, but because I do lashy box, I don't do those two because they have similar products sometimes. Um, but yeah guys this was great and so i hope you enjoyed it i will try to do on instagram some uh you know some looks with the different palettes so you can get to see how the the palettes work and the different looks you can work do with them all right so i look forward to seeing you in the next video make sure you like make sure you share make sure you subscribe to my channel we would love to have you over here at the super glam fam where we i try to film as much as possible I don't have a schedule right now. I just film when I'm able to, and I bulk film when I can. Like today is going to be a bulk filming day. So I hope again you enjoyed and you have a great day or night, depending when you're watching. I pray peace over you. Yes, peace over you. I pray that you have a blessed, blessed, blessed life. And again, we'll see you soon. Bye.